Today we are going to take a look at how to assign points to questions using iSpring Quizmaker. For each graded question of a quiz, users earn points and you can choose how many points each question is worth. Let's start by looking at how to set universal default points for all of the questions. Select Properties, then Question Properties, and then look at the Scores section. Here you can set a score for all correct answers, a penalty for all incorrect answers, or even more flexible scoring settings that allow you to reduce the points after each attempt for questions with multiple attempts, and the ability to apply penalties for unanswered questions. These changes will be applied to all new questions, but if you already have some questions in your quiz like I do, click Apply to All at the bottom of the window, and then make sure that the score is ticked then apply. Not all questions are equally difficult, and you can set up custom point values for questions to reflect this fact in your student's final score. Let's look at how to change individual points for each question. Select the question for which you want to adjust the score. Down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the score for each option, and you can select how many points to give for a correct answer. I think this one deserves to be more points. You can also select how many points to deduct for an incorrect answer on this particular question. It's possible to go even further than this for some questions and choose specific marks for each answer. You might need this if all of the answers are not equally wrong. To do this, go to the question you want to adjust. Head over to the right side menu, and under Score, change it from by result to by choice. This will open up your individual scoring options. In the line next to each answer, specify the points, positive or negative. This works for multiple choice and multiple response, hotspot, and drag and drop question types. Also, if you allow users to submit more than one attempt for a question, you can deduct some extra points for each attempt. Specify the points to deduct in the try again area. Users will get 10 points for the first attempt and only 5 points, 10 minus 5, for second attempt. Okay, let's take a look at how this looks in the preview. This next question we set up to have different scores for different answers. You see here I was given two chances on this question, which was set up to deduct points for additional attempts. And that should be all you need to know to be able to assign points to questions in iSpring Quizmaker. Give it a shot!